something that came up in yesterday's what can I do better was a record more. Um, something that Mr. Kraft shared and I truly believe is true is that with the three systems or three processes, there are three ways to solve systems, people tend to find their favorite. So we tend to call systems of equations just systems for short. The three ways to solve them are graphing, which is quite frankly, you just get the equations and you graph them and you find where they cross, elimination, and substitution. I will be honest with you, if we were in regular class five days a week, we would probably spend two days each on these. Um, I have a favorite of these three, and I think everybody will come up with the one that you appreciate or you like to do better than the others. I'll try not to tell you what my favorite is. You might figure it out if you pay attention because I try not to show my bias, but when we have a bias, it tends to reveal itself. So when I look at these, <clears throat> I, for instance, glance at this and I think about this as being perfect for elimination and this one is being better for substitution. I'm gonna start with this one about why I look at this set of two equations and I think about that system would be solved better with substitution. This right here is my reason. It says y equals, and that 3x plus 1 is what y equals. So I'm going to take 2x plus 4y, and I'm going to plug in 3x minus 1 equals 24. If you really take a close look at what I've just done here, whoops, sorry, meant to erase there. I took this because it equals y, and I put it in for the y right here. This is where the y was in that equation. And now I can solve by just doing what we do. 2x plus 12x minus 4 equals 24. So I took this 4 and I've distributed it. 2x plus 12x are like terms, so that becomes 4x, 14x minus 4 equals 24. I'm going to add the 4 to both sides. I get 14x equals 28. Divide each side by 14, x equals 2. Now, as a reminder, when we're finding any way to solve a system of equations, we're looking for an xy pair as our answer. I've just found the x. That means I now need to go back with this x as two, back to this initial set of equations, and I need to plug it in or substitute it in to find the y. So y is equal to 3x minus 1 is the first one. So I'm going to put the 2 where the x was. So if you notice, 3 times x, I'm saying x is 2. So it's now 3 times 2. y is equal to 6 minus 1. y is equal to 5. The answer for this system of equations is 2 comma 5. If I were to graph these two lines on a graph, they would cross at 2 comma 5. That's what all of this means. Now, one step further before I talk to you about elimination, I want to go back to how do I check and make sure that this works. Well, I'm going to keep this y equals 3x minus 1 on this side, and the 2x plus 4y equals 24 on the right. And I'm going to take this 2 and put it into both equations where the x is. Oops, hold on.
3 times 2 minus 1, 2 times 2. And I'm going to put the 5 where the y is. And I'm going to solve both equations and see if 2 for x and 5 for y makes these equations true. 5 is equal to 6 minus 1. 5 equals 5. That's true. 4 plus 20 equals 24. 24 equals 24. So when we say a system of equations answer is an xy pair, we mean that when we put this x into both of these where the x is, and we put this y into both of these where the y is, that the equation then ends up being true. I'm showing you way more than this slide activity needed. I'm using these equations as examples. So now let's talk this through with elimination. Why did I think that this would be best as solved by elimination? Because when I looked at this, I saw that they both have a 3y. And when I'm thinking about elimination, I'm thinking about what can I eliminate or turn into a zero? And if I look at x plus 3y equals 7, and let's say I multiply that whole thing times negative 1, that would now be negative x minus 3y equals negative 7. And I'm going to take the second equation and put it underneath 2x plus 3y equals 11. So you're probably thinking like, well, why did she multiply by negative 1? I did it because I wanted one of these to be positive 3y and the other to be negative 3y, because now I'm going to add these two equations together. And that's eliminated. Negative x plus 2x is going to give me an x. Negative 3y plus positive 3y gives me a 0. Negative 7 and positive 11 is 4. What does that leave me with? x equals 4. Now I can come back to the original set of equations. And I'm going to take this first one and plug that x in or substitute it in. And I would get 4 plus 3y equals 7. To get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 4. I get 3y equals 3. That means y is equal to 1. So the ordered pair that answers this is 4 comma 1. So when we're looking at solving systems of equations by hand and not just by graphing, and we have to think about is elimination or substitution best, you want to look at what you're presented with. And I'll be honest, when I looked at your answers, some of you, all of you are basically right, because any of these can be solved either way, as Mr. Kraft said on Friday. I would put this here and this here. I would definitely put this one over here. But that's my preference. Somebody else could maybe say, well, I want to get this x by itself. And I could move this 3y to the other side and make this x is equal to negative 3y plus 7, and then solve it by substitution. And that would be true, too. OK, so this one is a little bit more complex because we'd have to multiply things by uh, different amounts. Let me just show you what I would do with that. Let me erase all this work so I have some space to work. If I were going to solve this last one, I would think about elimination for it. And I'm going to put both equations next to each other here. Since this is a negative 2y and this is a positive 5y, I'm thinking I'm going to multiply this equation by 5 
and this equation by two so that I can turn this into a negative 10y and this into a positive 10y. So I would get 15x minus 10y equals negative 35. And I'm going to move this one down underneath so I can just go ahead and subtract right away. This would be 4x plus 10y equals 16. This would be eliminated because negative 10y and positive 10y is 0. We would get 19x is equal to negative 19. Our x here would be equal to negative 1. Again, I know this is a lot more than that is asking for. And I'm going to bring you over to a new share to show you what we're going to work on for about 10 minutes. Some of you are there, but most of you are, are not all the way done. This is slide six from the card sort linear systems from Friday. What I want you to notice here is you've got X's and Y's. And you also have systems of equations. And you want to get an X and a Y to go with every system of equations. It's 151. I'm going to give you until 2 p.m. to try to finish this. Those of you who are finished can just take a break until 2. Um, and I'm more go back and play with your mice and cheese if you'd like. I will keep the answers to this displayed so you can see if you're getting green or not. But I would highly suggest that you get your dry erase out that I gave you earlier this year and see if you can solve these using either elimination or substitution or graphing. <laughs> 